Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. So today we're doing another Sims 4 speed build. This one's a pretty big one. Um, it is a dorm room over in Brightchester. If you follow me on Twitter, then you know I've been playing with this girl named Zuri, and I'll put her picture on the screen right now so you can see what she looks like. But she's currently studying to be a private attorney. So she's in the language and literature degree. And she is in the distinguished degree here at Brightchester, so I built this dorm room, or dorm building, I should say, with her in mind. Um, I built it so that she would have a place to live. I usually do this when I play in, uh, un in Discovery University. It's not that I don't like the pre-built dorms. Um, I think that they're, they're pretty okay, actually. I just, I really like to build large homes and large buildings, so I really enjoy doing builds like these. Anyway, so here we are. I'm trying to- my camera's all over the place. I'm trying to get the right walls and the right roofs for this build. I'm trying to match it to the build at the actual college itself because even though this lot is technically like semi off campus, it is still a part of the campus area when you look at the world map. So I wanted to make sure that it looked like it was probably like a part of the old building and maybe they had just refurbished it for a dorm area. And there you saw I'm just putting in all my cheats, which I forgot to put in at the beginning. And then I struggled a lot with these windows. You'll see me try a whole bunch of different ones. Um, you saw me pull out those bay windows there and then decide not to use them. Um, I just couldn't figure out because it, it's such a large space. I couldn't, I didn't, I don't know. I just couldn't find any windows that took up enough space and then I felt really bad just like lining the whole house in windows, but that's what I end up doing anyway. But I do some pretty hefty landscaping. I use the vines that we got with this pack. I do cut a lot of it out because this video was almost like two hours long, so I wanted to make sure I got it down. Um, even when I sped it up, to like four times its initial speed, it was almost 45 minutes. So I had to cut out quite a bit, but you see the majority of like what's important. So I hope that you guys don't mind. But anyway, anyway, as I was saying, I do add some vines around just to cover up some more of the space and break up the fact that it's literally just littered with windows. And then here I am just trying to figure out the front patio. They do end up with a front patio and a back patio. Um, the front patio is more kind of like a decorative. I get some chess tables out here, um, but there isn't really a lot to do out here because it's kind of a small space. And then the back patio is kind of their party area. I figured since these kids weren't living on campus, they could get away with quite a bit more partying. So I did give them a couple of different objects to use for that. And there you saw we did a big jump. It was probably about a 20 minute time jump. And I already did the floor planning and the majority of the landscaping. Now, the floor planning doesn't really matter because I end up changing it before we go into the interior anyway because I had to stop building um, and go to work. And then when I came back to the build, I realized I didn't really like how everything was laid out. So I changed um, the floor planning a little bit. And then the exterior is stuff that I, you've seen before on my channel and the next build I do probably won't cut it out so it's not that big of a deal that we lost it in this one but basically I just went around you saw me start to terrain paint a little bit and then I just covered all of the terrain paint areas with debug plants from the Discover University pack we got quite a few of those in there and then the vines as well on the house are from the debug menu for Discover University so pretty much everything in this build is Discovery University. Now, I didn't limit myself to packs, so it's quite possible that there's a couple of ones that I missed, but I tried to stick to Discovery University because obviously that's the pack that would fit the most. Um, and then here I am trying to figure out how I want to do this outside patio. Now, as I said, it's kind of more decorative because I figured they couldn't do that much to the outside of the building. Like the inside's definitely more personalized towards student life, but I figured this being such an old building maybe it would even be historic and you wouldn't be able to change it that much. So I didn't want to do anything too hardcore. And here you can see I left in this little 
bit of landscaping so you can kind of see what I was doing and what plants I was using. But as I said, I was just going through on the terrain paint and adding in all of these flowers. And I decided to cut the porch back a little bit because I didn't think I'd, I could figure out something to put in that little space there. So I decided to cut it back and then I this is where I add the... Um, what are they? Chess tables. I put two up front here. Now, Brightchester is the more liberal arts college. It's not the science and math one, but you still do need logic skill for quite a few of the degrees, and your sims can also come here for physics and stuff if they're not doing a distinguished one, a distinguished degree version of it. So I decided that chess tables would probably be a good idea and it, it idea and it's also it helps raise their fun so it's a good thing to have around like a bunch of young adults and then here we are into the living room so this is quite a big space um i definitely wanted to make sure that the teen that the young adults could entertain because a lot of the times when you have roommates in builds like this or in the dorm rooms um at discover university your roommates though your roommates throw parties and I had a build for a dorm room once that was kind of smaller. I made it for just like a couple of roomies and the parties still took up pretty much a lot of space. Like they still invited so many people. So I decided that never again, I was always going to build super large spaces for these parties. So that way they'd never got in my way of gameplay. So here I am just cluttering up and decorating some things. And then you'll see in a minute, I pull out some debug items to decorate that table. And quite a few of them are arts and crafts pieces that we got in the debug menu. It's like a glue and a pencil and some other items as well. And I thought that that was kind of cool because Brightchester does, as I said, it's the liberal arts one. So it does have the distinguished degrees for painting and um, like writing and stuff like that. And it's definitely more of like the the creative version of the college, not the science and math based ones um, like Foxbury is. So I wanted to make sure I kind of put like arts and crafts stuff around just to make it look like the students were practicing their their stuff and doing all their art supply or all their art and everything. And I also give them an entire room with an easel and some musical instruments and stuff as well. You'll see that later on. But that's why I know that some of those debug items are a little childish. Um, or childish looking because they're technically from the kids activity table but I thought it was like a cute little thing to add and then here I put a foosball table that's what it's called yeah foosball table I was gonna give them the ping pong table that we got with Discover University but it didn't fit in that space and on campus pretty much like every other day the spirit court is hosting parties in the like quad area I think is what it's called so and there's always ping pong tables there so I figured it wasn't really that big of a deal that they didn't have one and then here I'm going through doing my usual decorations for the front of the air front of the house the coat rack the umbrella rack and then I'm going through and adding curtains now the curtains in this build give me a lot of trouble you see I have to move all of the windows out of the way to get them to raise up to where I need them to go but I think it looks really good and I don't always add curtains in my build builds, I've said this before, but I think I'm happy that I decided to add them into this because I think it just finishes it off a little bit more and if this building was run by the school, they would definitely have curtains or at least blinds or something surround, like to give the students a little bit more privacy. So I definitely think that that worked out. And then I'm just cluttering up this table here um, I was really happy with the way that this room in particular turned out. I don't really do a lot of community spaces in my building or for my builds. I'm sure you'll notice that my builds are mostly residential. So I'm really happy that I was able to get like a community space inside of this residential build. Just so you guys could see a little bit more of how I build those. And then we're about done with this room. I do add a couple of pictures over here, some of the old ones of Brightchester. And then I also end up adding the dartboard from Get Together as well. I really liked the idea, after I put that foosball table here, I really liked the idea of this being like a 
an extension of their party area that I gave them out back and it kind kind of being like a communal space for the roommates to like hang out and enjoy some time together together without necessarily it being a study area um, because college isn't all about studying and getting good grades so I wanted to make sure that they had an area that they could sit back and have some fun and then here I'm decorating this little hall area it's not I don't do a lot of decorations here because it's not that big of a space but I did go ahead and add some brick texture to the stairs there just to change up the walls a little bit give it a bit more diversity and then I add I think besides this flag I think I get another like coat rack thing the one yeah this wall hanging one here just so in case like it was cold out they would let grab their jackets to go outside and hang out with their friends and then I throw that corkboard there I think that that's technically like I think that there's like news clippings on it but it looked cool and it looked like it would be where like the roommates left notes for each other and like interacted with maybe like some community things going on at the school so I thought that that was kind of neat to leave there and then this is the kitchen now obviously unfortunately with dorms we are not allowed to have outdoor cooking things so grills or stoves which I think is a little unfortunate that they made it like you couldn't have those at all because I can understand the ones on campus maybe not being able to have stoves but like off building or off campus ones kind of like this one obviously this house would have had a stove to begin with so I think it's a little weird that they didn't allow us to put them on these lots but I guess it's okay I mean they can still use the microwaves and I give them a popcorn machine and a coffee machine as well and then I clutter up the counters quite a bit because obviously they don't need the counter space because they can't cook. So I do throw quite a few different decorations around and I also end up giving them an island um, just so that they can have like a communal space to like sit around and then they also get a table. But here I am, as I said, just cluttering up these different counters and I switch back and forth between the Sims 3 camera and the Sims 4 camera and then using the nine key quite a bit um the nine key I'll, i've figured out how to use it for counters to where things don't float but i still have an issue with shelves and everything where i where things will float above them so i'm thinking about getting that custom content shelf thing that red shelf that everyone uses to help me out with with the shelves and everything to keep them from hovering over um but i'm not 100 percent sure i haven't quite decided on it yet but here I am just adding some more windows, trying to get some more light and filling up some empty wall space. And then I put an anti-Foxbury poster here and then a Brightchester Spirit Corps picture here or poster here as well. And this is pretty much it for the kitchen. It's a rather large kitchen um, because as I said, I figured this was like a refurbished house or something. So I figured that it would have a, a rather large kitchen and then I throw a chalkboard over here kind of like maybe they could discuss like meals that they had planned to bring into the to the ho home or they could discuss like who's winning on the score like the foosball like reigning foosball champion champion or something and then here I go in and this is one of three bathrooms in the build so all of the bathrooms are pretty much decorated the same uh two have showers and one has a bathtub now originally i was going to give them one shared bathroom um and that's where the majority of the floor plan change came from earlier because i realized that if my idea for this build was that it was an old house or like an old building refurbished to be a dorm room then there would be multiple bathrooms it wouldn't be set up to have just one large one so I, that's why i decided to kind of change the floor plan a little bit and then doing it this way also made it so that the dorm rooms were a little smaller because originally the dorm rooms were huge and they're still pretty big like they're they're still large rooms but they like so just imagine when you see one of them just imagine those but bigger and that's initially what i was going to have to furnish furnish so I was really happy that I was able to cut those down a little bit. And then this is that art and music room I was talking to you guys about earlier. I just throw an easel and then a couple of instruments and a microphone in here. And I think that this is just, I do this room here and then I give them like a study nook upstairs. And I think it just represents the two different sides of Brightchester because you have the, the artsy, the 
musician the musicians and the painters and everything and then you also have the people like Zuri who's going in for language and literature and studying for law and everything like that and then I just throw a couple of posters around um, all from Discover University and then I move into the first actual dorm room so each dorm room has two beds and they all have a different color scheme now I didn't think about the personality for most of these rooms so for this one and then one upstairs I, I really just kind of decorated it for Brightchester students in general so there's a lot of green accents there's a lot of Brightchester spirit gear and I left a lot of the walls blank because the roommates will come in and bring in their own things and since I was going to be playing in this build I didn't want to you know cover all of the walls up so that way the roommates had no place to put any of their stuff so that is why quite a few of these walls are empty. But each room has, as I said, two beds, a dresser, and two desk areas for them to be able to sit and do their homework at. I find that that's really convenient to have because then you can always lock the door that your sim is in um, from roommates or from anybody and then sit there and have them do their homework because a lot of times when the sims sit and do their homework, it like they get interrupted by people trying to talk to them or in my case right now future cubes popping up in their inventory um that i'm pretty sure that they're being gifted by non-playable sims but i'm not 100 percent sure about that but uh so i always try and give them their own private desk area so i can just lock them in their rooms and keep them from talking to anybody which if anybody ever heard me say that out loud in public they'd probably think i was going nuts but I ju it's just The Sims. Um, and then here, again, another bathroom. This is the one that has the tub in it. And then you see I'm just copying over all of the other bathroom items for this one. So that way it just matches. They're all cohesive. And then just adding some curtains. And I'm going to put another shower into this one. And I do change the curtains around a lot, like depending upon what area of the house I'm in just because some of the curtains weren't fitting in the areas that I had placed them so when I originally put the movie hangout curtains there which is are the ones I have downstairs on those windows it kept clipping into the counter so I was trying to find one that wouldn't do that so that is why I switched up the curtains there and then here I just give them a little seating area I put that um Brightchester poster up and then I get a couple of chairs around so that they have like a nice little area to sit i do add a banister here in a second to the staircase so that way the sims don't fall off and then i throw a table i think a light or flower and then on this wall i add some more of the oh i thought i added more bright chester posters so these are from get together they're like old like they're not black and white. I think it's technically called like sepia tone. I don't know if I'm pronouncing that correctly, but they're like the muted brown swatch. And so it kind of just looks like it's pictures of an old town, kind of like the ones we got with this pack of Brightchester. And now here I'm going through changing the swatches on the doors because I didn't like that all of them had the same decorations on them. I figured that wasn't really realistic. A lot of like the different people in the dorms would change up their the outside of their doors they put different posters on them and everything and then here is one of the upstairs dorm rooms so i decorated two dorm rooms in mind for my sim because in case i got here and some of the beds were already taken or assigned i wanted to make sure she had some options because once you're in gameplay unless you turn on a cheat you cannot change how the dorm rooms look so I went ahead and just decorated two different ones that I thought she could go ahead and use right off the bat if in case like something happened. And this was one of them and it's because I gave them a bookshelf. She is a bookworm so she reads quite a lot. And then I gave them two desks with lamps on them instead of just leaving them empty. And then going into this one, this is the one she actually ends up staying in um because I give them a whole little reading nook so I was I was really excited about giving her this room and this area by the window here is where I end up giving the reading nook so you'll see it in a minute I think it turns out so cute but I'm going through and adding the lights from Discover University so that way 
and I'm the, I don't leave those base game lights up. And then I'm adding the two beds. As I said, each room has two beds, a mirror, and um, dressers. And I play around with the floor plan of this room quite, or the layout of this room a little bit because I was trying to fit in everything that I wanted to without having to leave that window area blank. So there is this awkward gap in between the bed and the wall. I end up putting a plant in there right before I leave this room just so it's not completely empty but i give them a bookshelf and then that chair from eco lifestyle and then the pillows from toddler stuff i figured that a lot of the furniture in this house like obviously the main ones like the beds and that one couch downstairs were in this house when all the students moved in but i also figured some of the students because they were living in a house they brought their own furniture so i thought it was kind of cute adding some of the other ones from the game especially that recycled one from eco lifestyle and then here, this is probably the, the room I thought about the people living in the most, even though the other one I decorated for the sim I'm playing with. Because I make this room over here kind of like the sports player's room, because both universities have sports games that go on every Friday and Saturday. One is regular sports, one is eSports. E and I figured that this would be like the quote unquote jocks room. I give them two different soccer balls and that pile of sports equipment that we got with base game. And then I just throw a whole bunch of different posters on the walls about sports. And I don't really clutter it up because as I said, the roommates do bring their own items in, but I give them a couple of different like banners and sports posters and everything. And I thought that that was just kind of cool because we got a lot of different sports items with this pack like all these posters and everything and those soccer balls and then i had this chair kind of like that's the that's where they sit inside but that's the chair that they take to their games with them and then this is i believe the last room we have to furnish inside we do the outdoor patio after this one and this is the upstairs study area so i do a bookshelf and a desk and on that desk i place the research machine that we got with this pack and I was going to place a debate practice, but I thought the room was a little too small. And they get one of those in the Brightchester community um, lot, I guess it is. It's kind of like the, the community area. It has like their kitchen and their, or like their cafeteria and it has a debate podium and it's all these bookshelves and everything. So it's almost like a library, but I figured since they had one of those right on the lot or right on the premise, they didn't have to have a debate podium in here and then i gave them one of those like scheduling boards it looks like um on the right there or on the left there and then that's pretty much it for the decorations in that room i just come outside here change all the col colors of the windows because i realized when i had gone in there and done all that i was placing the wrong colored windows and then this is me fixing that um a vine as well because i had realized i put one that was clipping into the inside of the house and then here i'm just going to add a small patio area now like i said i do make this kind of like their party area i add the same fence and flooring from the front of the house you'll see me grab the flooring in a minute and then i add a couple of tables and this speaker system here with a keg but besides that, that is pretty much it for this build. This was a little bit longer than usual, so I hope you guys don't mind. But thank you for watching, and I hope you stick around for the next one, and I'll see you all then. Bye! Thank you.